companies that provide these panels, and specifically around the ones that the, these companies, when they kind of claim to be offering warranties or say that they're gonna be responsible for the O&M, and I think that's, actually if there's any issue that held up the Topaz bond offering, the one that I, that I brought up earlier, if there's any issue around there, it's basically, um, you know, if PG&E was the off-taker, PG&E will be around in 25 years, that's not a problem. If the PPA prices were very high, the installation levels were very reliable, um, I think the major concern was, you know, it was first sold, first sold as a great company. If it, it was a big hit, was that? They'll be around. They'll be around. In, in theory, in theory, like the, 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 I, I think the, the general consensus they'll be around. But in any case, there was kind of some reluctance or some some shying away from it just because it's it's a solar manufacturer. Mm -hmm. So that, that's true, but the, from an engineering perspective, the likelihood of let's say on our thirty megawatt DC, twenty megawatt AC solar project, thirty megawatt Such as? Well, such as. I, I, I've heard risks like uh, they're basically talking about uh, risks of underground cable failures and risks of racking failures. That's what those <laughs> feel, I guess, yeah. you can them. Risks of inverter failures. Now, yeah, I mean, you, inverters do have some technology risk, but they will, they're, they're repairable. They can be fixed. I have one for you. Solar installation being done on Long Island had a risk of seagulls. Yeah. <laughs> I'm serious. Yeah. yeah, we're hearing our our project is in the middle of a, of a, potato, of a large potato field in Idaho, uh, and we're hearing that there's concern that some of the treatments of the crops will cause problems with the, with the modules production. And my answer is that's really simple. We'll get out there with a water truck and clean them. But it's, a, it's a way. It's a nice way of saying. There's, there's, uh, what do you think the price differential between um, a quote unquote bankable Chinese panel um, versus a panel made by a company that's a multinational using service data? So I, I, I think that's evolved quite a bit as well, right? When you do, you know, 
especially this is a pretty clear data when you're looking at uh, Magellan and uh, data resilience. They serve a tail on Gen company. You could easily get uh, you know anywhere from 15 to 25 points by considering by what you consider Gen two as your primary company, right? Uh, but now I think uh, <coughs> that gap has narrowed quite a bit, right? Because what has happened is in markets like Asia and Germany, where there's a lot of like return profiling and everything, you could sell the panel and then the value goes crazy price in more. So I think that gap is probably in some cases now it's 15 points, in some cases five points or 10 points, right? So that's the China dynamic. But you are talking about uh, sort of the Western manufacturing, right? So uh, for solar guys, even though we're a Christmas, we have this better evidence that the entire year is in the balance of that kind of decline. So there's certainly a value in solar and green and there could be, you know, critical impact in a market manufacturer. But someone like Sun Power has I think pretty much the brand good job to date. Even in the market, like I said, Sun Blue, you know, clearly that's been I was I was just I was uh, not referencing Sun Power as much because they have obviously efficiency uh, superior efficiency. I was I was thinking more of a of a uh, Sharp or a Bosch or an LG or a GE who may come into the market. Uh, you know what what's the what's the value of warranty certainty versus uh, versus a tier one publicly traded Chinese company uh, that has an op short operating period. Yeah. So that, that that's a Let me back into this. Let's say that somebody has a warranty coverage on their panel, whether it's LG or GE. GE is not so big on that, but I'm just throwing an example of Nokia. That Sharp is also throwing Nokia at that cost. So they're not that big of a warranty rate. Uh, they're probably going to be looking to sell to that market with the LG or the GE chip, right? So they're probably not really going to come here. But if you actually have someone that's truly bankable, there is a chance that you could actually have a lower cost of financing, right? Let's say that cost of financing goes down by 1%, you could easily have 20 or 30 point premiums for the market if you sell the market, because even with that, you know, the LG or even the GE thing, so the lower cost of electricity goes on in, even though it's the same cost for the panel prices, but you can actually get better value from it if you don't sell the panel at the same price. So is it, it when is when will that differentiation begin to occur? Or has it already, or has it already begun to occur? When will uh, you walk down a trade show and be able to talk to a multinational and he says, yeah, here's the reason why I'm, char I'm charging you more. I think you would probably take a bankruptcy of a company out of China and you're just gonna be taking <coughs> one of those guys. And I think a big, large company in China getting it is probably gonna make that a very difficult situation for him. That's, that's my guess. You know, another uh, bank, the Chinese government would let a big company like that. Is <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> 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 Million.
Like, no, 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 no. So let me explain no, that. Question. No, wait, 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 wait. You keep mistaking me. I'm talking about the value proposition for the customer. At the termination of a PPA, <laughs> there's 20 or 30 years left, and the PPA provider essentially abandons the system in place because it's not economic to move it. The value proposition for the customer is the driver of this business. But the real evaluation for a customer is return on investment. Yeah, but and the, customer unless does, the customer doesn't invest anything. Oh, the customer, better, but he the customer, does. The customer buys electricity for 20 years and then has virtually free electricity for 20 or 30 more. But, but you need for a customer not to be concerned with, okay, any cash out of pocket that suggests that it's being financed by a PPA. Now you're back to a financial institution writing a contract that is longer than 20